Set up strong VPN SSTP on Android 4 and 7. Before you start you need to get your VPN account credentials from the Strong's customer area. To log into the customer area you need to use your email with us as a login. The password is the one that you've created when you first made an order, if you haven't changed it since then, of course. You can log in from the Strong VPN website, there is a link at the top, if that doesn't work, the direct link to the customer area login page is, https colon slash slash intranet dot strong vpn dot com slash services slash intranet. If you cannot remember your password, please reset it using this link, https colon slash slash intranet dot strong vpn dot com slash services slash intranet slash password underscore reset. After logging in hover over VPN accounts at the top, then click the menu item VPN account summary. Click account setup instructions near the pptp slash l2tp slash sstp account. On this page you will see your account setup credentials, server address, username, password and IPsec key, only needed for L2TP connection. Please notice, the credentials on the screen above will not work this is just an example. We recommend to leave account setup instructions window open, since you will need this information for setup. Make sure that you have credentials at hand until you finish. Warning. The SSTP client application described in this tutorial is a third-party paid application, which is not affiliated with strong VPN service in any way. We have tested it and found it useful for the cases when no other VPN protocols are working in certain networks. Before you make the purchase, try to use all the other protocols we offer, such as PPTP, L2TP, OpenVPN, IPsec, or IKF2. Also, make sure SSTP works for you using Windows computer. This tutorial was made on Android 5.1, Lollipop, but it is tested and compatible for all Android versions from 4 to 7, as well. The steps are the same or very similar. 1. Start by opening the Play Store. 2. Enter. SSTP in the search field, tap on SSTP VPN client in the search results list. 3. Once. You are on the applications page, tap the button with the price. 4. Then. You will see the permissions window, tap accept. 5. Make the purchase and payment. 6. When the application is downloaded and installed, tap open. 7. Tap. Round button with plus at the bottom of the screen to create the new VPN profile. 8. Tap. Empty VPN profile. 9. Go to remote servers. 10. Tap. Plus to add the server. 11. Enter. Your server address from the account setup instructions in the remote host field. This is your credential that you obtained in the customer area at the beginning of this tutorial. If you are not sure where to get it, scroll up the page, you can find the instructions there. It is not strxxxxx.reliablehosting.com, that is just an example. Check set tunnel MTU and input 1480 in the field below. Tap OK when done. 12. Then. You will see the saved server in the servers list. Tap left arrow icon at the top to go back to general connection settings. 13. Tap. Authentication. 14. Check the enable MSCHAPV2 box. After that check save user and password box and fill the username and password fields below it. For manual setup username is not your email and the password is not your password for customer area. You can find these credentials in the customer area, same place where the server address is located. When you are done, tap the save icon at the top, in the shape of the floppy disk. 15. Now. Turn on the switch near the strong VPN connection in the connections list. 16. You will see the Android VPN network warning, tap OK. 17. Connection. Status will change to connecting. Wait while it connects. When the VPN is connected the status will change to connected. Also notice that the shield icon at the top bar that represents running SSTP client app and the key icon which means the VPN is connected. 18.2. Check if your IP address is changed successfully open the browser and go to http colon slash slash strongvpn.com. Connecting the SSTP using SSTP client on Android 4, 5, 6 and 7 1. Go to your applications list and tap on SSTP client icon. 2. Once the application launched tap the switch near the needed profile on the list. When the VPN is connected the status will change to connected. Also note the key icon on the top panel, this indicates the running VPN. Disconnecting the SSTP using SSTP client on Android 4, 5, 6 and 7 swipe down from the top of the screen, notifications bar, to see the application status messages. Tap the disconnect button under the SSTP connection status bar. As an alternative you can go to the applications list and tap on SSTP client icon, once in the application tap the switch near the connected profile on the list.